I'm not quite sure how it all started that we all have to kind of make it, especially in this business and in, in the world of music or entertainment or whatever, everyone is so young. After a certain age, there's kind of like a sell-by date. And I for sure had that mindset and had this feeling that I had to kind of get it all done by the time I was 30, otherwise it'd be over for me. There were many examples of great artists that kind of were their most productive and creative in their 20s and maybe teens, and then kind of just went out to pasture after. And not that many examples of females, female artists that were kind of still making great art openly. At least in my experience, I didn't get a lot of that or see a lot of that. So when I stopped making music for a long time, had kids and then decided to come back, the greatest challenge for me was actually my mind, changing my mind about myself and about how if art is good, if the music is good, if what you're saying is relevant or honest, it really shouldn't matter what the person looks like behind the art or if they are in their 20s or 30s or 40s. I say that and yet it's, it's a hard one. I understand the prejudice. So much happens to you when you're young. You're constantly moving and heartbroken and changing and shifting and I think inspiration, at least for me, always came from movement and when I had kids I suddenly felt very still and I would say that was what gave me a lot of my postpartum and a lot of my sadness came from the fact that I thought that nothing was going to change. I flourish in the idea that anything could happen and change, mostly for the better, but you know, I think that's probably why I live in New York City is as much as it drives me crazy, I love that I can walk outside my door and I might run into an old friend, I might, I don't know, anything could happen. Your day could start one way and end up being a completely different day and I haven't found that to be in any other city. So, I will tell you this, I've never felt more immature. I've never had less answers <laughs> and more questions. I've never been more curious. I've never felt more excited about what's gonna happen next. I ha I'm in the in the in the throes of many shifts in relationships in my life. Now that I have all these feelings, I am older, but I also have so much experience with people and situations and I would say that I hope I'm singing better. And so why wouldn't I become a better artist with all that? Why would this music world be ageist when we're writing about life and feelings. I would only imagine that we would have more in us as we got older. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I wanted to know what you think. This isn't as easy as I thought. Maybe I should have gone to TikTok. <laughs> Stay, Stay away from TikTok, TikTok please. please. No, I'm serious. The ageism thing is a really, really uh, big deal. It's kind of like the last taboo. It's kind of okay to be ageist, but it shouldn't be. I also have a splinter in my foot that's hurting my cow. 